Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and today I'm sharing a neon shaker card with you. So I have used my Brutus Monroe neon aqua pigments to make this background. It is already dry. All I did was put it in my splatter box and splatter each color on. I am showing you the neon rhinestones and I love the 80s sparkle blend from Doodles Paper Playground. Those will be my shaker elements. So I am just using a rectangle die from my stash and using some washi tape to adhere this down to give me a frame and I am using some black cardstock. So I am going to put some double-sided adhesive along the back of this panel. And then also from Doodles Paper Playground, um, Amber also carries both vellum and the acetate. So I am going to use my acetate sheet from there. I will trim it down so that it fits uh, behind this panel because they are A2 size um, card pieces of acetate. I forgot what I was saying there for a second. So I'm just peeling off the backing of this tape and I will get the acetate put down and then off screen I put down, I will show you how I double up my foam tape. I use this foam tape, I think it is called x Fasten from Amazon. It, some people love it, some people hate it, I don't mind it, um, but I do have to double it up if I'm using any dimensional shaker bits um, to have enough room to make sure that they fit in my card. So I just had a little extra that wasn't adhered to the tape, so I'm just trimming that off with my big scissors. And then here's my roll of foam tape, and I am just gonna roll out a bunch, and fold it over on itself, and then I run my hand along the side so that they stay together. And then off screen, I put all around this panel my foam tape and took off the backing. So I'm gonna put in some of the neon rhinestones, and then I will put in my container the I Love the 80s blend so you can see all these awesome neon colors. I just ordered this. I don't know why I didn't have it in my stash before. Um, I have a feeling I may have to get me some more. And I put a generous amount in because this is a large shaker window. I know some of my crafty friends are probably gasping at the amount of sparkle blends I have used. Um, so I am putting on my neon splattered panel to cover up and sandwich in all of the shaker bits. Just look at all that neon goodness. So now I am going to be using my sentiment will be from the Simon Says Stamp birthday bash stamp set and I am going to stick with the neon theme and use my Gina K neon inks in the pink color. I'm just going to take a scrap of white cardstock and stamp down this celebrate sentiment and then I fussy cut it out because I don't have a die for it um, and it's not it's got a curve to it so I did fussy cut this out and as I watched it back on the video I liked it in the white but in person I did not so I took another one of the neon colors and ink blended over it to tie it in I think it was because my card had no white on it um, and I wasn't quite sure how to tie that in, so I gave it a different neon color in the background. You'll have to let me know down below if you thought it should be white or go with the added in neon color. So then I'm going to put down some double-sided adhesive on the back of the sentiment and fuss a little bit with where I was gonna place it and I ended up going for straight in the center. You could add a character I was going to add some stars, but I opted to leave it alone so that not a lot of the shaker window got covered up and all that neon goodness. And I'm just going to adhere this entire panel down to an A2 size card panel using some art glitter glue and line that up on the table so that it is covering the entire thing. And that is going to finish off today's project. The link for the Etsy shop to get Doodles Paper Playground Sparkle Blends will be listed down below. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.